The Iowa caucuses are tomorrow, January 15th. Um, and then we will be recapping the results on Tuesday, but they are tomorrow, Monday, January 15th. And Vivek Ramaswamy came all this way, curried all this favor with the MAGA base. He was in line to be Trump's VP. He got he was right the heir to apparent. the last, the heir apparent, right, for 2028. He had positioned himself so well. And then what happened in the last 48 hours? Well, we'll walk through this a little bit. So a uh, famous uh, MAGA influencer, I guess Laura Loomer, I'm not quite sure exactly what she does, but she's a very famous Trump supporter, uh, took a picture with Vivek Ramaswamy with her Trump beanie on. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy did invite me into his event. He even called out Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley for kicking me out. So I guess she was removed from some other Trump rival events for showing up in her Trump swag. He was very nice to me, and I showed up to his event in my Trump hat. Vivek actually respects free speech and hasn't embraced the weaponization of government against Trump. The tweet continues. Okay, so good start. Good start. Vivek remains in good standing with the Trump faithful. But then what happens here? It's clear what needs to happen in Iowa, says Matt G. If you want to save Donald Trump from the inevitable, you vote for Vivek. And if you if those T-shirts are a little hard to read from a distance, it says save Trump vote Vivek, and then there's um, a Trump's face inside the Iowa State logo, the implication being that Vivek knows how to protect Donald Trump from the deep state. Interesting, interesting development. Here's some video. Guy to get whacked. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Here's some video to sort of put some flesh on that bone. Here's what Ramaswamy is talking about. A choice to make on Monday. So I'll make it very clear for you why I believe that I'm going to take our America First movement to the next level. They duped Trump. They told him you can't fire these civil service employees because of the so-called bureaucrats, because of civil service protections. Read the law. Those civil service protections do not apply to mass firings, and mass firings are what I am bringing to the D.C. bureaucracy. They told him you couldn't end birthright citizenship for the kids of illegals because that requires a constitutional amendment. Actually, it doesn't. The 14th Amendment is clear on that. It just involves enforcing the existing laws and constitution as they exist. So I do think it's going to take, yes, a businessman, an outsider. And I'm that who could break things, who's willing to observe the actual norms of common sense instead of the norms of Washington, D.C. Trump brought that. I bring that. But it's also going to take an outsider who knows and deeply understands the law and the Constitution in this country. And those two things don't usually go together, right? You have the legal academic type here. You have the business entrepreneur type here. We need both now to get this job done. Okay, so what he's saying there is you need an inside game and an outside game. And Trump is the bull in a china shop who knows how to break things, but he doesn't know how the sausage is made. He doesn't know how the rocket ship is put right. together. This is right. sort of like the Elizabeth Warren counter argument to the Bernie Sanders uh, case in 2020. Well, yeah, Bernie's great, but he's ultimately just a buffoon. He's an idiot. I actually know the law inside and out, and so I can protect trump from the deep state why because i'm smarter than him that's really the subtext there if you, have you to go vote with senator wake trump. and bake you're <laughs> never gonna get anything done exactly exactly so he's basically saying his closing argument is the deep state is after trump and only i am smart enough to protect him so if you like trump yeah vote for me right. yeah. well how do you think that went over with the MAGA crowd a very persuasive. They found <laughs> that a good. persuasive argument. Believe me, not good. So not Laura good. Loomer, the same Laura Loomer, responds to mm -hmm. that tweet. This is cringe. When I saw Vivek Ramaswamy the other day, I told him that I appreciated him not encouraging the weaponization of government against Trump. But this post is disrespectful. President Trump doesn't need, quote, saving. Vivek is about to freeze his 2028 presidential prospects in the Iowa snow two days out from caucus day. This is the quickest way to piss President Trump and his supporters off. I am disappointed to see this. Vivek kept digging, though. Here he is consoling a woman very concerned about what the deep state might do 
to Donald Trump. Just they like are. They're scared of Trump. Oh, they're, they are scared And they will stop at nothing, but we're not going to let him get away with it. I've got fresh legs. I'm not wounded. And That's they're not going to let this man do it. You know, when you this said eliminate, eliminate, that gave me a chill. But because I'm scared. Because you think it's false or because you think it's true? I think it's true. Yeah. I think they will stop at it nothing is, to stop them. Stop I am. I, it's sad, but it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the sad, but it's the truth. So I'm but asking you to do your part, and we're going to. You know, we're not. We can do this. Polls, we can do, do this. Yeah. They say, "How do you feel about the United States?" And I say, "I'm worried and I'm fearful." Oh my god! My dad, oh my god! I'm sorry. This guy's a fucking snake, asshole, asshole. I mean, what a cheap fucking move. I mean, that's just fucking, that is low. That is mm -hmm. pretty goddamn mm -hmm. low. And look, in fairness to him, Russell's been saying all along, he doesn't think the deep state would allow Trump back into office, right? Nope, but I have not. My opinion on that has not changed. So I, I, don't, I don't disagree with his core thesis, um, but I am very surprised that he made this political miscalculation. Uh, and it is a miscalculation. It's one thing if Trump were polling 39 and you're polling 29 and you want to throw a Hail Mary. When you're when you're polling, what, 8? 8. 8%? Eight, eight so 48. This guy's, so what do you think is going to happen here other than to make yourself toxic to the Trump voters that you need in 2028? It's, it's very much what you always say about these Silicon Valley tech bros, move fast, break things, they're impulsive, they don't think things through. I have I have long said he's the only person to emerge in this field who I consider a political talent um, in terms of the, the stagecraft of politics. He's, 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 very, he's very charismatic. Um, he's well-spoken. He puts together his ideas well in an appealing way. He picks the right fights like Trump does, but he does convincingly convey himself as somebody who even his fans don't think Donald Trump is, uh, is some intellectual genius, I'm sure. Right. So he comes off like somebody who could probably manage the machinery of government a little better than Trump, even if Trump supporters won't admit that. Um, they, there's an almost messianic belief in Trump that transcends his failings as a as a person and as a politician and as a tactician. And Vivek has done a good job presenting himself as a as a smarter alternative to Trump for 2028. He was lined up to be in the cabinet, maybe even to get picked as a VP. And yeah, here at the last minute, he just he just fucked himself, I think, because some tech bro billionaire just doesn't want to lose. The, these types of people don't like to lose, even though this is a completely irrational move. Yeah, it's one thing to throw a Hail Mary when you're down by a touchdown with six seconds left in the game. When you're down by three touchdowns with six seconds right. left in the game, you, even if you complete the pass, the clock runs out. You, you're right. too far behind. So right. that little stunt he Live did with the fight hugging. another day. Exactly. Exactly. Save it for another day. So the hugging the sad woman stunt did not go over well with MJ <laughs> Truth Ultra. <laughs> Vivek Ramaswamy just crossed the fucking line. You want to save Trump? You vote for me. If you vote for Trump, you're sending him to his own demise. Kiss our ass, Vivek. We are Trump or die. Trump 2024. And, of course, the once and future king himself drops a truth social. Vivek started his campaign as a great supporter, the best president in generations, etc. Unfortunately, now all he does is disguise his support in the form of deceitful campaign tricks. Very sly, but a vote for Vivek is a vote for the other side. Don't get duped by this. Vote for Trump. Don't waste your vote. Vivek is not MAGA. The Biden indictments against his political opponent will never be allowed in this country. They are already beginning to fall. MAGA. Vivek couldn't stop digging. He went on Twitter again. After Trump posted that on his Truth Social, here's Vivek Ramaswamy driving through the blizzards in Iowa digging the hole even further. And nobody seems to want to acknowledge Here's the hard truth, and nobody seems to want to acknowledge it. 
but it's what's happening in plain sight. And I'm gonna ask you to open your eyes. They wanna narrow this down to a two horse race between Donald Trump and Nikki Haley, a puppet who they can control. Then they wanna eliminate Donald Trump this spring or whenever it is and trot their puppet into the White House. It's hiding in plain sight. We're not gonna look back a year from now and say, oh, we were shocked that that happened. I think we're gonna look back a year from now and say, how could we not see that happening when every clue was hiding in plain sight? They're selling us the rope today that they're gonna to use to hang us tomorrow. And we have an obligation to this country to make sure that doesn't happen. I'm in this race because we have a duty to this country and the America First movement to make sure this lives on no matter what. It didn't start in 2016. It started in 1776. And the system has made clear they're gonna now stop at nothing. And I mean nothing to keep Donald J. Trump out of office. I have pushed back against this at every step. I filed FOIA demands against the Biden administration. What did Biden and Merrick Garland tell Jack Smith in those federal prosecutions? This week, I filed a Supreme Court brief laying out what I view as the best legal arguments that the Supreme Court does need to hear in order to overturn Colorado's disastrous ruling. I've pushed back against this at every step. I'm the only candidate who has said I would remove myself from Maine and Colorado's ballots if they eliminate Trump. And I've called on every other Republican to do the same thing because that's how we protect ourselves against this election interference. But at a certain point, we have to open our eyes and see the hard truth. And yes, our duty is to this country. It's so all I'm asking is to open your eyes, see the plot. It's staring us in the face. It's a hard pill to swallow, but sometimes the truth hurts and we have to open our eyes to see it. Oh, sometimes we have to open our eyes to the truth like two days before caucus day. You've been running for president for a fucking years. First I've heard of this plot that you've concocted in your head about how the deep state won't let Trump win. And like I said, Russell's been open and honest about his belief that the deep state will not let Trump win. Um, but so I'm not it'd be running one for thing office. if like that were your pitch at the beginning. Hey, I'm running for president. I like Trump, but I think that the deep state is out to get him. And so if you want someone who the deep state will allow to become president, even though I'm apparently on to them, which again, that's a certain irony that's hard to reconcile, vote for me. That's not what this guy did. This guy ran around for a year currying favor with the Trump base to build his brand as the heir apparent for 2028. And then two fucking days before the caucus decides, you know what my last minute pitch is? My closing argument is they're going to whack Trump. So you have to vote for me. I mean, what a sleaze. What a sleaze. Jimmy said this guy would make a good used car salesman. He's right. He's right. That is a sleaze. That is a douchebag. That is an absolute fucking douchebag. It's really crazy. And second, I'm sorry, delusions of grandeur much. You, with your 8% polling support, are what, stand, are what stands between Donald Trump and the CIA and the FBI. I mean, come on. Give me a fucking break. That was a desperate move that had no chance to succeed, and now you fucked yourself because now they're not going to remember you fondly in 2028. Sir, we need to call off the assassination. Ramaswamy is on for us. <laughs> Hold your fire. Ramaswamy made a point on Twitter, uh, and we think it's pretty compelling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, the only thing I will say in 4D chess terms is if I'm right and he's right, then he could he could run later on. Told you so. Told you so. Told you so. Uh, yeah, I guess that's I saw it caveat. coming. I saw I was trying to save him. That's a hell of a thing to bet your political career on, though. Really it is, is a hell of a like, move. Like you say, man, these these Silicon Valley guys, high risk, high reward. High man. risk, high reward. All this fucking guy had to do was keep his mouth shut for the next two days. He'll lose Iowa. You then drop out. You endorse Trump ahead of New Hampshire, and you're good. You're good. Yeah. You got no problems. No problems whatsoever. Instead, he comes up with this Fakakta last pitch argument and just blows up his entire <laughs> reputation with the people who he's been courting for a year. Bizarre. Please clap. <laughs>